Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a load Q is applied to the pulley C which can roll on the cable ACB. The pulley is held in the position shown by a second cable CAD which passes over the pulley A and supports a load P. Knowing that P equals to 750 Newton, determine the tension in cable ACB and the magnitude of load Q. So we have two cables, uh, cable ACB. We have this cable ACB which uh, passes through this pulley on the lower side. And then we have this one another cable which passes here like this. So we have ACB and we have CAD, two ropes. And this pulley can move on this ACB rope. So we are required to we are given the magnitude of this force p which is 750 newtons and we are required to find the tension in this acb rope and we are required to find the load q so as we can see that uh, this is is i have told as it is given in the problem that this is one continuous rope so if we cut this rope on both sides so we will have the same tension on both sides so let's say that the tension in this is T1 so we will have T1 on both sides and similarly um, if we cut this rope which is CAD so if we cut this this rope uh, CAB somewhere here then the same uh, it will have the same tension that is equals to magnitude of P which is 750 newtons so this is our free body diagram here I will have the tension T1 let's say we have this tension T so here we will have the tension t or we can say that this is the tension in a c b rope let's say so since this and this both are the same rope so we'll have that same tension on this side as well so we will have this t a c b on both side of the pulley and similarly here we will have the load p or we can say that this is the tension p in the rope right so we want to find we are given the magnitude of this force p which is 750 newton we are required to find this q and we are required to find this tcb and we are given these angles this particular rope this portion of the rope is making 25 degrees and both of these ropes which are parallel to each other they make an angle of 55 degree with the horizontal so let me draw a a horizontal line here this is somewhere here is our horizontal line like this and this angle is 25 degrees and this angle is 55 degrees and similarly this angle is 55 degree as well so now since uh, this pulley c is in equilibrium so the sum of all the forces in the x must be equal to zero and the sum of all the forces in the y must be equal to zero so we need to resolve all these forces so we will have if we resolve this t a c b so it will have one component in this direction this will be the cos component this will be t a c b cos of 25 and then we will have one component like this this one will be the sine component so this is t a c b cos of 25 degrees and similarly let me write this here so this is t a c b required and this one will be the sine component so this is t a c b sine of 25 degrees and similarly on this side this t a c b will have one component in this direction this one will be the cost component and it will have one component like this so this is we will have t a c b cos of 55 degrees and then we will have one component like this and this will be t a c b sine of 55 degrees and similarly we need to resolve this uh, p force this p load so it will have one component like this and it will have one component like this so let's draw that as well so 
we will have one component like this the green one and we will have one component like this so this one is this one is 750 cos of 55 this is 750 cos of 55 so let me write it here this is 750 cos of 55 and similarly this one is 750 sine of 55 now we need to apply the sum of all the forces in the x and the sum of all the forces in the y equals to zero so the sum of all the forces or the components in the x must be equals to zero and towards the right is our positive x direction so everything acting towards the right is positive so now we have this t a c b cos of 25 and then we have this t a c b sine of 55 that must be equals to zero since there is no or yes we have this 750 cos of 55 so we can write that this is t let me write that this is uh, T A C B cos of 25. This is acting in the positive direction, so we will write plus. This is T A C B cos of 25. It is acting in the positive direction towards the right. And this one is T A C B. So this is in the negative, so we will write minus T A C B cos of 55. And then we have this green component, remember. So this component is 750 cos of 55 and this is in the negative x so we'll write minus 750 cos of 55 degrees and this is equals to zero now we can take t a c b common from both of these two terms so we can write that this is t a c b cos of 25 minus cos of 55 degrees and we can write this term on the other side of the equation so that will become positive So we can say that T A C B is equal to 750 cos of 55 divided by cos of 25 minus cos of 55 degrees. So this gives us T A C B, the tension in A C B rope or cable is 1200 and 92.88 newtons so this was required in the part a this is the solution to part a and similarly we are required to find the magnitude of load q so for that we have to apply the sum of all the forces in the y so the sum of all the forces in the y must be equals to zero and in the upward direction is our positive y direction so everything acting in the upward direction is positive so now we have uh, this component this component and this component and all of these are acting in the positive x in the positive y in the upward direction and we have this q which is acting in the negative y direction so we can write that t a c b sine of 25 plus t a c b sine of 55 degrees plus 750 sine of 55 degrees and minus q this is equals to zero so now we know the magnitude of uh, tacb i can bring this to the other side of equation so we will have all these equal to the magnitude of force q so we can write that q is equal to tacb L let me write it like this let me copy all these So T Q is equal to this. Now we know T A C B magnitude, so Q is equal to we can say that Q is equal to 1292.88 sine of 25 degrees plus 1292.88 sine of 55 degrees plus 750 sine of 55 degrees. So this will give us the magnitude of that load Q. So this is equal to Q is equal to 
0.82 newtons or we can say that this is approximately equal to we can say that this is approximately equal to 2220 newton so the tension in acb rope is equal to 1292.88 newton if we have 750 newton load here and similarly the t the load which pulley c will support is equal to 222 newtons approximately so this is the solution of this particular problem do like this video if this helps in your learning and for more such videos subscribe engineers academy